everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, I just love repurposing stuff, and tonight I'm going to repurpose a sign and a bucket I got from Dollar Tree. So here's the sign I had. I had gotten it from Michaels, and I have some homespun fabric, and I just trace out the outline of that sign, and I'm cutting it out. Then we put some Mod Podge on the sign, and I'm just spreading it out with a brush, and then after that we take our cutout fabric and put it on the sign. Look at that homespun fabric. I just love it. All right, now I cut it out pretty exact to the sign. And then after I have that on and dried a little bit, I go over and just, I'm sanding it just a little bit just to fray the ends because you know I love that distressed look. All right, anyways, so then I have this little bucket from Dollar Tree and I cut down the sides and then I kind of fold it in the middle so that it creases and then I cut it down the middle as well. We're actually just going to use the front part of this. So I cut the inside into little strips so that I can cut it out easier. Again, remember this is tin and it's super sharp. So just be mindful. You might even wear work gloves or something to go with this. And then um, I take my hammer and I kind of just hammer up all of those pieces. And then I fold in those sharp pieces and hammer that so there's no sharp edges. And then I'm just folding up, I don't know, it's probably a about an inch or so I'm just folding it up so that um, it looks like we have two little shelves on the on either side. So do that for both sides. See how that is? Ta-da! All right, next you're going to take, I used a little Mod Podge container. You could use just about anything, a paint can, whatever. And I'm just making it be round. <laughs> I'm sure there's a better word for that. Um, but I'm just, and I also hammered down the sides just to make sure that they're nice and flat. Put some glue on it, put it on our sign, adhere it. Now remember, that's hot, so just be protect yourself. Then I have these cute little half um, wooden circle things that I glued on. I did three on each side. Um, easy peasy. I'm sure you could use buttons. You could use um, the glass beads. You could use even the stickers that are round stickers. That would work too. I just happen to have these on um, my shelf. So I just used them and I thought they looked super cute. So I just glue them on. Just be careful. It's hot. <laughs> Don't burn yourself like I did. All right. Next, I take a um, thing of black paint and a dry brush, and I'm going to go over all of those little black. No, I'm going to make them black. I'm going to go over all those little buttons, and I'm distressing it. Now, again, if distressing isn't your vibe and the primitive thing isn't your vibe, then don't do this part. But, man, I just thought it made it look so country and cool. So I went over both sides. All of the buttons I just went over with um, the black with my dry brush and I actually did some on the center just to make sure that it looked you know even then I just put this the jute rope back on um, and again those holes were already there so that was easy I make a nice little hanger and then I just pop this little this is just a bouquet I got from Michaels friends it's that easy I hope you'll try this thanks so much for watching